There seems to be a big misconception among consumers and people who want to qualify for home loans and mortgages about what they need to show for employment history. Some people think they're going to run into issues if they have a job gap or a new job or they think they don't have a two-year work history. So today I'm going to show you exactly what banks and underwriters are looking for as far as your work history when it comes to mortgage qualification purposes. First off, it's important to remember that banks and lenders want to document a two-year cumulative work history or a total of two years work history. And that can actually include job gaps, part-time jobs, self-employment, school and education, or job training. So they want to see a total two-year work history, but it doesn't necessarily have to be consecutive. You don't have to have been working for a straight two years. That two years can include multiple jobs, part-time jobs, school, training. As long as you have that two-year work history, that's what they're looking for. When I say school, I mean higher education, such as college or technical school. And job training can be really anything that you've done to prepare yourself for your current or past jobs. You don't necessarily have to be compensated or paid for those trainings, especially when we talk about things like internships. The second thing to know is you don't have to be in your current job for the last two years. You can have multiple jobs in the last two years and still qualify for a mortgage. If this is good news, please give me a thumbs up and let me know you're out there and show the YouTube algorithm that this is valuable information. With regards to multiple jobs in the last two years, most people are going to fall into two different loan categories, FHA or conventional. FHA loans have a lower credit score requirement and they have more flexible criteria when it comes to multiple jobs in unrelated industries in the last two years. So if you've had multiple jobs, especially in unrelated there are different types of work, FHA might be a good loan program for you. Unrelated jobs can be something like I was working as a cashier and then I was a construction worker and then I became a pilot and now I want to apply for a mortgage and that all happened within the last two years. That would be a situation where you might qualify for FHA, but maybe not necessarily a conventional loan, but multiple jobs in unrelated fields in the last two years is okay. Conventional loans have a little more stricter criteria when it comes to credit scores of qualification and in particular your two-year work history. Conventional loans want you to have a two-year history in a related field or related type of job. So for instance, if I was in school for accounting and I became a uh, junior accountant at one employer and then left that job and went to another employer as a you know uh, corporate tax preparer or something like that, that would be considered a two-year history of related or similar types of work, which is okay for conventional loans or FHA loans for that matter. Now, the biggest myth or the biggest question that I get from people is, what if I just started a new job? Can I qualify for a mortgage if I just started a new job? This is actually a topic that I talk about in my video, Top 10 Mortgage Tips for Moving to a New State, because I address new jobs or starting a job or qualifying for a mortgage while you're you know, moving to a new state before you actually start that job or before you actually get that raise or promotion or start working for that new employer. But in short, if you started a new job, that's okay. For conventional loans, you can qualify for a mortgage even if you haven't started your new job yet. That's right, if you have a offer letter from your new employer stating your new start date and your new salary or wage, we can use that income to qualify you as long as that start date is within 60 days of your home purchase. So of course, if you've already started your new job and maybe you're just a couple days or maybe a couple weeks or a month into it, that's fine. We can use that new job for qualification purposes. FHA loans are a little bit different in that you need to have at least one pay stub from the new job in order to get approved for that loan. So if your file is in underwriting and you just started a new job and you're using an FHA loan, the underwriter wants to see one pay stub from that new job before they will approve your loan. If you're in a situation where you're working inconsistent or irregular hours and you're using an FHA loan, the underwriter might want two pay stubs or a full 30 days of pay subs or a full months of pay subs before you can get approved for FHA loan. But regardless, if it's a new job, then you're still okay. Another important thing to know is that I mentioned earlier is job gaps. If you have a job gap, then that does not disqualify you from getting a mortgage. That's right. Having a job gap is not a deal breaker for mortgage qualification. Shorter job gaps, a month to three months really, is nothing to worry about. 
And if that job gap is a longer period of time, an underwriter will most likely just want you to explain what was happening. Parental leave is a great example of why you might take an extended time off from work, but any legitimate reason just needs to be explained. Maybe you were sick, maybe you were looking for a job, or you just couldn't find a job, or maybe you just decided to take some time off for a mental health break. Most banks and underwriters are going to be okay with your explanation, as long as it's not something ridiculous that somehow implies that you're a bad credit risk. Do you have a second job? You can use that job from your second job or a part-time job, as long as you have a two-year history of having a second job or part-time job. So again, it doesn't have to be the same part-time job for two years. You just have to have a two-year history of having a second job or part-time job. So in other words, if you're applying for a mortgage and you want to add some income onto your application, you can't just go out and get a second job and use that income. You have to have a two-year history of having a second job. Speaking of two-year history, if you're self-employed, you need to have a two-year history of being self-employed to qualify for a mortgage. And what an underwriter is going to ask for is your last two years tax returns showing that business income in order to calculate your qualifying income. This two-year history of self-employed income is a pretty hard and fast rule for all mortgage programs or all traditional mortgage programs like conventional FHA, VA, USDA loans. And the biggest question I get is, can I qualify if I've only been self-employed for one year? And unfortunately, the answer is no. However, there are some non-traditional mortgage products that will use your last 12 months business revenue to calculate your income, but most of those programs still require that you've been in business for at least two years. Everybody is in a unique situation when it comes to their work history, but finding the answers to these questions doesn't have to be complicated. If you're preparing to buy a house or getting pre-approved for a mortgage, the best thing you can do is start that conversation with a mortgage loan officer who can tell you everything you need to know about your work history and what you need for qualification purposes based on your situation. I hope this video explains what you need to know, but if it doesn't, please leave a comment or you can contact me directly if you do have questions. My contact information is in the description. If this was helpful, please show your support by subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell for updates because we're going to be talking about everything you need to know to buy your first home or your next home.